Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody making out? Uh, it's 12.30. And finally, man, I got to take a breath. Damn. Finally, my package has arrived uh, from FedEx. Um, this piece here, guys, is... Uh, this is the Smoky Mountain Knife Works uh, exclusive limited edition uh, Buck 110. Um, this guy is in S45 VN drop uh, point blade with a scalloped black and brown rich light handle. I'll explain a little bit more in depth what rich light is because I didn't quite understand what it was neither or I was I was not very familiar with the material. Um, but it's got a rich light handle, nickel silver bear head bolster. And um, it uh, comes with a beautiful distressed leather sheath. Um, we'll talk about that in a little bit too. Um, it's just one of a kind. Um, it's it's a fan i don't i don't really have words at this point i'm just gathering up all my thoughts and trying to put this into um something that that is talkable right now because i am at a loss for words um the only way i could explain this is if you go back uh many many years ago and I'm sure that the video is still up uh, from Patty Potato Peelers. He did a video way, way back when, man, when we were just getting into the game. And he put out this video of him unboxing his 940, his Benchmade 940 Osborne, okay? Now, when he unboxed that, he started, he proceeded to start dancing all around frantically in his house. And he really was dancing. Uh, that, that was the kind of excitement that, um, that overcame him when he received that knife. And in the same, the same feeling, the same feeling he had is exactly how I am feeling at this point. I am just blown 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 away um well we're gonna take a look at it uh we're gonna break it down we're gonna do quite a few videos on it and this isn't the only piece that i have on its way um i i, I mean i don't care i'll say it i ordered um a very very beautiful uh custom 110 from the buck shop from um uh buck's website uh, if you go over to buck's website there's a, a custom uh shop that you could go in and do a build well i i did that and it's eight, six to eight weeks delivery time but i'm still waiting on that i have to be getting close because i know i ordered that close to six weeks ago so I mean, every day I'm like, oh, this is the day it's going to be here. But, uh, you know, I'm used to it. Um, but this piece here, um, I again, I'm just trying to absorb it all. This is rich light material. It's called rich light. Now, I read uh, quite a bit on this stuff. Um, they use this stuff in a lot. I, apparently, so what I say, a lot of building materials, they build a lot of, they're starting to build a lot of decks in this material. Um, they say that it is uh, very, very durable. Like, um, if you read up on it, you'd quickly see uh, what I'm talking about. Um, I did not clean this knife yet. Um, I just came in, I saw that FedEx guy, uh, drive down the street and I was like, oh my God, I was like, I hope I'm praying and hoping, uh, that my knife is here. I got the shakes a little bit too. Um, but you can see 
It's got S45 VN steel. That, that, that bugger is rocking S45. It's got the uh, boss uh, heat treat on it. Uh, so this sucker, this sucker is ready uh, to rock and roll. You've got a 2023 limited edition model here. And um, just giving you a quick peek around it uh, quickly. Um, just, I, I mean, I don't, you know, I'm just still, it's going to take me a little bit just to, you know, just to uh, look at it a few times. You know what I mean? Um, uh, um, it's got this beautiful this beautiful blade on it um it's this gorgeous i love this drop point blade 10 times more than a clip than the clip blade that they get on the 110s i don't know what it is i can't explain it i love clip blades but i don't like them on my 110s and i don't like the way they they do the blade. I just, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Um, it's just that I prefer this spear blade. Uh, it's just, I think in my opinion, it's, it looks better. That's, that's my opinion. Um, oh man, this thing, guys, I'm telling you, it's, oh God. I was prepared and I still may do it. I don't know how much it's going to bug me. I want to get that cleaned up, and I know it's, thank God it's half decent, thank God it's all right, it's pretty good, it's, it's, it's livable, it's not horrible, right, I'm thinking about sending, I was thinking about sending this off uh, to Neve's Knives, and seeing um, if he would uh, Keep the same bevel angle, because I don't want it to get no thicker. I want the same uh, angle, um, thickness. But I just wanted it cleaned up. And I wanted it, I wanted to have him put his mirror polished edge on it. And clean up that ricasso. And make it perfect at the butt end there, at the end. And, um... Well, only he can do it. You know what I mean? I only trust him, first of all, with this piece. And second off, uh, he there's nobody that could, you know, sharpen a knife like uh, Jerry. So, um, that's, that's that. Um, I really don't know what else to say at this point. I'm just giving you first impressions on it. Uh, it's got, uh, what is this? Black and uh, gold? Maybe. Let me see if it says it. Uh, satin finish, boss heat treat, um, one of a kind. Uh, hold on a minute. This is from the 2023 Legacy Collection. Uh, features um, scalloped black and brown. Okay, it's black and brown. Rich light. And like I said, it's supposed to be uh, extremely durable. It's made out of paper. It's a paper composite. I do believe it's a it's a paper composite uh, combined with like uh, just a bunch of you know how it goes uh, a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? And um, I can tell you, it feels. I, I've never had a feeling like this. Um, I mean, it feels. Oh, it feels wonderful. Um, this does not have the weight of a, of a 110. This bugger is weighted like, oh man. Um, it doesn't have that, like when you get it in your hand, it just like, boom, a brick. You know what I mean? It's not that kind of feeling. It's not a brick in your hand. It's not a brick. Um... Next time I we we I uh, revisit this, I'm going to do a weigh on it. We'll weigh it. We'll break out all my other uh, knives. I'll break out my other 110 to compare weights, and we'll, we'll uh, try and really dig deep into it. You know what I mean? 
Um, the back spacer here, when you're dealing with a lock back, I mean, you're going to have some, you know, some of this, you know, and it's just standard, you know what I mean? Um, I mean, I guess it could be better, right? You know what I mean? I guess it could be tighter. I guess that could be tighter, but, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, turn around and send it back for that. I mean, I just, I mean, but other than that, everything's tight up here to, um, the transitions, uh, to the, um, I keep wanting to say G10, uh, the transitions from this rich light to the bolster is just seen, you can't feel, I mean, it's just, everything's done, uh, perfect. Like I said, it still needs to get oiled and, um, uh, cleaned. It's dirty. I mean, it just, it, oh, it sounds so cool. Listen to this. That sounds I mean, the action, the lockup on it is like a, it literally is like a bank fall. Listen to it. Oh, my goodness. Man, <laughs> it's locked up, man. It's locked up tight. And when I tell you, this is my first time experiencing, well, I ain't even experienced it yet. I didn't even cut nothing with it yet. But just touching uh, the edge Oh my God, <laughs> I've never had S45 VN, you know what I mean? I've had high, uh, higher end steels, M39. I've had uh, quite a few higher end steels and they're fa magnificent. They're great, man. Uh, but this here, um, wow, uh, it's fun. It's, it's cool, it's cool. So that even makes me want to uh, put an edge, just a small, nothing crazy. I just want to clean it, just a professionally done edge. Uh, clean up right back to there, clean that smile up right there. And I think that I might have the perfect uh, piece. You know what I mean? It's for me. Um, Cause that's all I was really thinking about doing even before I got it because I had planned on it coming a little wanky and a little if it was if this um if this was a little off on the side each side and stuff I was going to send this in and have it sharpened I already planned on it because with this quality of a knife no I wanted to have that bevel exactly exactly straight on both sides. You know what I mean? I'm not, I don't want to play around with this, with this knife here. I want it to be perfect, but I'm going to get to learn and handle this rich light a little bit more. I mean, it really feels, I, I, I don't know what to say. It just feels awesome. It feels great, uh, texturing in the hand, like this rich light. I don't know how to explain it, man. I'm not going to be able to um, give you a look at the blade stock on it. We'll get a look at the lockup. That's tight there. That's tight as can be, you know, for a for a uh, lockback. That's pretty darn near. That's good there. Um, yeah, guys, I said in the beginning of this year, before I even, I made a promise to myself. I said I was going to increase my buck collection because it's been quite a few years since I've bought a buck piece. I was going to increase and work on my buck collection and my Boker collection. Those two uh, companies right there I was going to work on for this year, this year. Um, and that's it guys. I just wanted to give you guys a first look at this. Oh, and I wanted to go, this is a little disappointing, um, here. Now, this is a very, very high end knife. This is a $350, uh, dollar knife, 350. But I think at that price point, okay, they already went ahead and upgraded on the, um, the sheath. It's an upgraded sheath right? But 
it's still made and it's not a big deal. I mean, but it should be, uh, it's made in Mexico. This sheath should have been sourced in the United States as well. That's my opinion. Um, it's just my opinion. I mean, that's a god awful lot of money. Um, they should have took that extra, that extra step and, um, produced this. This sheath should have said USA as well. You've got the back of it, standard, uh, standards. It's got the nump, the, what the knife is in the back there, 110. You got the belt loop. Uh, the only thing that makes this one difference is it's a lot softer. I mean, it's better quality. I mean, it's not that stiff, that real, real stiff uh, leather. They give you a little uh, supple, uh, which we call it for this. I might, I might get a custom um, sheath for this. I just might because this is just a standard, basic, uh, you know, uh, sheath. I might try and fancy this up and go all out and really, really get like a knockout uh, sheath for this. You know what I mean? Go all out. I'm already in with the money. You know what I mean? So I might as well just finish it. Just go all the way out. But there it is, guys. Um, let me know what you think, uh, if all possible. Um, yeah, this is the buck. Uh, 110 uh, exclusive limited edition from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. If you're interested, go check it out over there at Smoky. Um, if you're, you know, if you if you really like what you're seeing here, um, take a peek over there. And uh, that's about it. That's two big pieces I got from Smoky already. I got my. Uh, my daddy Barlow, my big daddy Barlow, uh, my Remington piece from there, and now this piece. Uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works is shoosh, getting my money, man. They've been getting my money for years, Smoky Mountain. Anyway, that's the end of it, guys. Uh, let me know what you think, and um, yeah. Um, do you guys know much about S45 VN? Because after I turn this video off in about six seconds, I'm going to start dancing in this room like patty potato peelers. All right, guys. Listen now. Um, have a fantastic weekend. Be good. Be well. Be safe. And I'll catch you in a little bit, guys. Um... See you later. Bye-bye. Let's put the music on.